Five is investigating the man at the center of both of these tragedies, 45-year-old George Brinkman. Who was he and how did he know his alleged victims? News 5's Megan Hickey has been digging for the answers and joins us live from Brunswick where Brinkman was taken into custody this morning. Megan, what did you find out? He was a friend to the family in North Royalton, almost part of the family in Lake Township. But investigators tell me their relationships that may have turned deadly. Investigators described 45-year-old Brinkman as a squatter who had not kept a permanent address in a few years. His last known address, this rental property in North Canton, where neighbors tell me he lived for several years with Stacy John, the daughter of the two Lake Township victims. Brinkman held several odd jobs, including one where he worked for the male victim, Rogel Eugene John, as a phone book delivery person. And he lived here while he was floating from job to job. Meanwhile, Brinkman is described as a friend of Suzanne Taylor's, frequenting her home in North Royalton. The 911 caller even mentioned George's car being on the scene when he made the gruesome discovery. And all the cars were there, and there was, uh, her friend George's car was there, and I left flowers. Now, North Royalton police tell me there do appear to be some similarities between the crime scenes, both in bedrooms with victims on beds. Live in Brunswick, Megan Hickey, News 5. Okay, Megan, friends and family of Suzanne Taylor and her two daughters, Kylie and Taylor Pfeiffer, will remember them at a vigil tomorrow night. The memorial service is set for 830 at North Royalton High School. That is on Ridge Road.